Okay, I'm just uh, doing some remasters and uh, answering a few questions for people that I can. Um, I was just in the last video. I want to continue on with uh, explaining to one of the questions. Uh, Roxy was asking me uh, about the imagery, and um, and I'm ex I was explaining that it's not a theory that it's feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. It's actually factual. You can see it for yourselves. Looks like I'm going to have to hit pause again. I'm going to get fucking interrupted again. And then I lose my train of thought and i got to start all over. Um, uh, so I was explaining that in my theory is has nothing to do with it being a feline canine rodent an ape human and beast. You can see that for yourself. Um, I do have theories about why that is. Uh, timelines of when we had resets. Uh... And that kind of thing. I was also explaining that um, when the false creator created this realm that we live in, I call him the false creator, he or she or whatever, um, male and female were the same. X and Y were the same. There was no separation of uh, male and female at that time. Uh, dur dur I'm sorry, during the, during before the last uh, reset. The last reset 6,000 years ago, I believe, was the reset that put femininity into the system. Uh, before that, I don't think we had any need for it. Uh, when you go back and you follow the timeline even further back to other resets 6,000 years ago, 12,000 years, 12, 12, 6,000 years before that, and you go every 6,000 years, what I see is is that uh, we didn't need mouths. We did, we absorbed our our nutrients. We didn't need uh, to drink water or eat food. Uh, the bio system wasn't here like it is now. Uh, we were still an electromagnetic nanocarbon system, but the bio realm end of it was not established the way it is today. It took you know I don't know how, how long, but it took a long time. And during the last reset is when all the other species came into play. That's why we're seeing only in the imagery feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. And then every once, every couple trillion images you look at, you might see a horse. Every couple trillion images you look at, you might see a bird's face or something like this. You know what I mean? That, that's my answer to that. Um, that's what I believe. Uh, it went down something along those lines, and that's why. It's the only explanation I can think of. The other thing is, is... um. Uh, the creator, the false creator, uses triangular pixels for everything that he does inside this realm. And I believe that was the true creator's work. And he stole the true creator's work in order to build this carbon realm. The true creator works on all purities. He does not interested in, in any uh, carbon form lives, you know. Um, there is evidence for some of this, uh, some of these things. Okay, when you're watching the... Uh, nanocarbon work, right? When you're watching, the, I'm sorry, not the nanocarbon, but the EMNC, the electric, yeah. See, the thing is, is I call them the builders, but then they're pushing around the nanocarbon and, and, and that's what they're building with. They use the electromagnetic nanocarbon to, to build with. So I, I have to be specific about that and be a little better about that. It's not the EMNC that's building, it's the builders that build using the EMNC. Um... And when you watch them work, uh, when you watch them, sorry, I, I got people in the background talking to me. Um, Okay, let me try to finish this thought now. So, so when you're watching the EMNC work, I, I guess the best place is the clouds. So you can actually watch them building. And uh, as you watch them build, you'll get an appreciation for them. It's the easiest way. And then I was saying in the last video, and then the water is also fairly easy. Anyways, as you watch them work, you're going to realize that they don't have... Uh, the, these builders, by the way, are us. You want to know what happens to souls and spirits when when the bio life dies, when our bio body falls to death? We just go back to this system. But what I noticed is the system, these builders, 
They don't feel love. They don't feel hate. They, all, all the spiritual shit that we talk about in our religions and stuff about going to heaven or hell or either way or anything like It's not like that. The bio shell falls to the ground. It dies. The soul leaves the body. The soul joins back to the system. It's in the electrical part of us. That That is the electrical part of us. Think of it more electrical than spiritual. When you think of the light, think of that light. You know, um, and that's provable. That's you can see all this happen. That part is provable, and there's evidence for it because the builders don't show any. In other words, the builders are building the lightning clouds up above, and here I am calling them. They're calling out their system, right? So whether or not, let's say, the Illuminati or the Freemasons or the governments or Trump himself or anybody had control over these things which they do they they lay out the trails they lay out the trails the uh, mineral streets all over the sky and then the system will do with those minerals what it's meant to do that's what they do they're builders so they build these storms they build everything including the storms so they build the storm you just give them the material needed so you dump all the minerals in the sky and then the builders will build and they also do it using this imagery that I'm trying to show you. They build this imagery in every storm, every particle of smoke, every cloud, every particle of water, you know, everything. It's, it's fucking everywhere. So when you watch them and you learn the, their behaviors, you realize, oh, they're not going to fucking strike me down. They're not going to strike me down. Maybe some human might. You know, a human might get wind of this and say, you know, uh, have some, you know, big problem with it or whatever and and come and kill me but not the system the system's not gonna fucking because they don't care the system don't care and those are our, our relatives those are our all, all of our ancestors when they die off they go back to the system now that energy of course could come back into any um at least in the feline canine rodent ape human and beast as far as i'm concerned that's all i have evidence for they can come back at any time their energy can come back into the bio world and it'd be born either a feline a canine a rodent ape human or beast uh now all the other species that have come in the last six thousand years uh you know whether they came on noah's ark or wherever the fuck they came from they were just added to the system is what really happened that's that this part is theoretical but this is what i believe happened he was asking me what my theory is it's not a theory that the imagery is there it's theoretical. All the other stuff is theoretical. So this part is theoretical. Okay, we use square pixels for our everything. All our computers, our cameras, our digital shit is all square pixels. The system uses triangular pixels. So these builders build everything using in their triangular shapes. They do all their building. Um, so I theorize and say to my... Unbelievable. Hold on a minute. Anyway, so the, so the builders, they, they'll they build you in your mother's womb, okay? They build everything all the time. They're building you and me right now as we're, I'm talking and as you're listening to this. They are building us constantly. It's a constant build. They're always building everything. It doesn't matter. Um, and I can show you the difference between human influence. When you put human influence into things, you can try to hide the system's build, but it's still there. You can put tattoos all over your fucking body. That's human influence. But I can go over and look right into your skin and look past your tattoos and, and you know, appreciate the human influence and then go right on and go deep into the skin and see all the imagery that the, that the builders built you with. Um, whatever that means, that's another road to go down. What we could figure out and what we could learn from this imagery, that's a whole nother ball game, and I'm only one person. So a lot more people would have to see the imagery to, let's say, uh, let's say find the answers to why, the, what minerals does the moon hold that carries more femininity than anything else down here? Will somebody someday find some quarry somewhere and they start looking at the imagery in the stones and then they realize, oh my God, it's filled with feminine imagery? Okay, well, now we're on to something. Now we can go find the rocks and the stones, figure out what those minerals are, 
and we know that we can get femininity out of those certain minerals. Uh, maybe it's something to do with the light. Maybe it's something to do, and not, not so much the minerals. Maybe it's the same minerals, but they use a different light source, a different energy source in order to create the femininity. I don't know because I'm the only one looking. Um, I'll never fucking find it in my lifetime. This would have to go somewhere. This all has to go somewhere in order for that shit to happen. Uh, and it's not, unfortunately, because it's still only one or two of you out there watching my videos, so it ain't going to go anywhere. All right, and then, um, so, I know it's a short question, but it's a long answer, I know. So the builders don't fucking care. They don't feel love. They don't feel hate. They don't care either way. Those are our ancestors. It's not like they get over to that side and they say, oh, I can't wait to get back there. So I can uh, go into their um, uh, into the family and fix some mistake that I made in past lives or something like that. I, no, none of that is going on. Um, I think what happened. I think it's possible that it could have happened at one time, but I think over the last six thousand years, human influence has really disturbed that process. In other words, we have lost more of our electrical selves over the years. So nobody really has any spirituality other than false spirituality. Nobody has any real touch with the system. And if they did, they wouldn't have any problems with seeing what I'm showing them. And they would just see it for what it is instead of bringing all this shit that they read in a book or seen on television or heard in a, a story somewhere. No, they just look at it and see it. And they'd say, no, I see it. I, I fucking see it. There's no question about it. And then we watch the system work and then go from there because all the other lies will then go away. The bullshit stories of outer space will go away. The, the, uh, the gravity bullshit stories and all the science and all the medical industry will definitely go away. The medical industry is unnecessary. The electrical, back to the electrical system. There won't be any more automotive industry because it's all useless rolling around on these fucking circle rubber tires when we should just be floating on electromagnetic current. It doesn't make any fucking sense. The whole thing is stupid. Um, the whole bio, human bio realm is all about monetary gains and, um, and making sure that we stay slaves, making sure we're constantly in fear and constantly prefer and want to be slaves. We want our children to be slaves. We want to be slaves. And that's the way it has to stay, I guess, in the bio, uh, as far as the bio realm goes. Because 7.8 billion fucking zombies, and come on, nobody else is going to wake up. Nobody else is going to go out and look at this and see this. Come on. It's fucking ridiculous. One douchebag from Massachusetts sees this, starts posting it in a serious way, tries to be very careful about not being joked around, tries being very careful. Come on, as if I'm fucking copyright claimed every other video. They make it hard as hell on me. Uh, I don't have any money. I don't have any fame. I don't have any notoriety. Not that I want any, but I'm just saying I don't want any of those things anyway, especially the money. Um... So, therefore, how can I get anywhere with this? So, what's my bright idea? I'm going to shove this down the throats of everybody else who's out there claiming that they know what the fuck is going on and they know what's what. Uh, everybody. So, that I got that's what, what, how I got to where I am right now. That's how I got to this stage where I'm no longer, I'm done with the flat earthers. No flat earthers want to come forward. No flat earthers really truly want to wake up. They want to stay on their flat earth and their imagination. Their, their earth is flat. Even though they can go outside and see there's mountains and hills everywhere, they want to go along with that human developed psyop of, uh, you know, thinking that, you know, nobody ever called, said the earth was fucking flat. That, that's only been in the last, uh, couple hundred years that that story even got put into play just for today so hundreds of years and in, in the future they were planning on on doing this <laughs> you know it's fucking amazing <clears throat> and most of the math does work on, on uh, the whole you know globe nonsense the most of it but when one piece of math doesn't work, you have to take the rest and fucking throw it in the garbage. And they don't do that. They just say, oh, just, don't worry about that. Don't pay attention to that. Fucked up. So anyways, back to what I was saying. I'm, I'm wandering. 
I'm already at 15 minutes. I want to get through these videos. These are the videos that uh, had the copyright strikes on. Again, the, the latest ones that I got copyright claims on. So I'm just going to rerun them through. I'm going to try to remaster them with some music I know is not copyright strikes uh, on it. Uh, if I think of the uh, coming to the rest of the part of the question for Roxy, then I'll, I'll um, talk more about that. But right now, I, I keep getting distracted and disturbed, so I think I'm better off just trying to play this through. Because every time I get thrown off track, I forget my thoughts, and then I'm all fucked up. And, and I know I'm not explaining a lot in the beginning of this series. I, I'm not doing a lot of talking. I'm hoping that people will start seeing the imagery. Uh, it's kind of useless for me to keep talking about things if no one is seeing the imagery. Um, I have to trick people into seeing it, you know, like I do on the street or whatever. And, and once I get them to see that, uh, see, you know, what, what I want them to see, then they all of a sudden shut down. They go away. They don't ever want to look again. And, um, you know, that's frustrating because I'm not afraid to look. So it's frustrating that so many other people in my life uh, are not willing to look. Because it changes everything. This is huge. This is so fucking huge. Uh, it really does. It changes everything. It proves that everything that the humans ever said was a fucking lie. Um... Anyways, let's get through some of this. Let me, uh, hold on a minute. Okay, Moon on Paper Remaster. So like I was saying in the last video, it's not a theory that it's feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast from the veil to the ground. Because as you can see in here, eye, eye, nose, and mouth, all right, keep going around and doing that everywhere you go. Even if you see something that's a little lopsided, don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to call it. Okay, if you see this eye here and the top eyelid goes, you've got the eyeball, you can see that clearly, and then you can see the other eye over here with the eyelid, you're just not at the perfect angle for that one, but you can go up here and get eye, eye, nose, and mouth of this very large one in here, then you can come down right below, you can get a lot of little ones out of here, eye, eye, nose, and mouth, because I know you don't feel confident with saying eye, 
eye, lopsided eye, because this eye is lopsided on this particular image here, using this mouth with the broken teeth, the mustache and the goatee going around them, right? On that, on that large one, everybody's got hair and everything on him. You can see his fucking hairline, right? So I, I could call him human or beast. I would probably say beast because at this angle and at this distance, his nose, again, being another image, uh, several images, his nose, actually, but just one of them you might catch is eye, eye, nose, and mouth of this image here, which I would say falls in the humanish canine category. Then you got that image is within another image because you got eye, eye, nose, and it makes up his mouth right here of this image, and you got his hairline there. It's image within image within image from the veil to the ground, and as you can see for yourself, it's not a theory that it's feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. It's easy to see. So here comes another eye that's even a little easier to place with this one if you want. Okay, so uh, before I leave here, I was going to say that uh, another easier one might be if you could put together is eye, eye, nose, and mouth open. He uses that one too. I'll come around to it. Yeah, he uses this eye with this one to go eye, eye, nose, and mouth. And it, it changes over and over again as I'm turning. It's, it's all... Um, Lights and shadows, like I say, so every little angle, every little turn, every little distance, you know, every change of distance is going to change up imagery, you name it. Um, it changes the imagery, but the imagery stays feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast, and also the imagery doesn't change, like, real drastic, right? We don't go from uh, a human to a, uh, you know, um, to uh, anything out of the ordinary other than the feline canine road and ape human and beast, so let's put it that way. So I'm just going in a little deeper now, again, showing you the depth, you know, if, I, if I'm out here, I'm catching so many images, if I'm angled, I'm showing so many images, it's all lights and shadows, the way that light is coming out from the computer um, also makes a big difference, I'll come this way and I'll give you the, you know, they share eyes, they share mouths, you can stretch, you can stretch with the camera and stuff, but it still comes up feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast, every time. You know, other than those, like I said, those few things, those few items, you know. I'm just coming in at a different depth. I could keep pointing them all to, but I'm hoping that, you know, you guys are going to start catching them. So I'll just say, you guys can all do the same thing. You guys have cameras. You got cell phones with cameras on them. If you take the cell phone out of your hand and you hold it up to the screen and you start moving it around at different angles, at different distances, you'll start catching them. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Hmm. And you'll see it way better, more clear than what I'm showing you. Because I still haven't even got the whole thing mastered where I'm always fighting screen glare. Because when I'm trying to show you anything on the computer, uh, if I'm showing you on paper, I'm always fighting the, um, the glare of the lights bouncing off the paper that I'm giving you. That's why I try not to use plastic too much.
I'll tell you right now, this is one of the areas, since we're talking about femininity, this is one of the areas of the moon that does have a lot of femininity in it and at different angles. I'm always catching different femininity. This is one of the feminine eyes that goes with this eye. And I know right now it's on a rodent, I believe, right? But I can get it to go uh, female with a curly Q hairdo. Uh, and then it, it goes male in a couple different places where this becomes his mustache. Uh, and a couple different angles and all that kind of shit. But I just recognize the eyes, so I figured I'd mention it. But there are several areas where I know it's down lower than this. It's down lower. Um, that I can get this to go female with the curly Q hair and everything. Anyways, I'll go, I'll, when I hit it next time, I'll, I'll have a woman's day or something and we'll, we'll hit all the feminine creatures in the moon. I mean, it's the fucking moon, man. It's unbelievable. I mean, the small images, I, I know the mouth sticking out, you know, it's tongue sticking out. Um, you go for all those. You got some upside down stuff over here, but you're gonna, uh, that I'm catching, I would wait to show it to you. I'll just give you the right side up stuff. So look back here. I, I, nose, mouth. Feline, right? Or rodent. That nose looks too rodent to be feline. So the judgment calls are not that hard to make on what they are. If you see something that stands out, a horse or a peacock or a bird or something like that, it'll stand out. I guess I'll point out too, since I'm doing some talking in this video too, any movement at all, any movement at all blurs your view of the imagery. So you're better off taking photographs of the moon going through the sky and looking in at them for a more clear image. Now I do videos of the moon coming through the sky and then I stop them, I freeze frame them just like I'm doing right here with this picture. That's why if I stop my hand from moving, right now watch, I'm shaking it around because I'm moving, right? Because I'm looking for the imagery. But not until I stop it do your eyes really get to look around. Because any little movement at all, I notice that the eye gets distracted so easy, man. It really does. That's why I put this black shit around the paper, black paper around the moon on paper because any little light coming through any sh anything shining any glare throws the eye off and people seem to get confused you know I remember when I was finding the uh, <coughs> the image within image thing when I found out that was image within image because I'd find like an eye see this eye up here and then the other eyes over there, it's not on screen yet, but it will be. But once I found those two eyes, then I'd find the nose and the mouth, and then I'd say, I wonder if I can go right in on the nose and go right up. I mean, I can go right up the fucking nose of this thing right here. This is unbelievable. And then as I'd be traveling up the nose with my camera, I'd realize it's another fucking image. And I'd say, it's another image, another image. And they were all so clear. And what are those images? 
feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast over and over and over and over and over again. There comes his other eye. Yeah. So see again, if I stop it, that gives you a chance. Now it's still a little dark up here to get the other eye, you know, so you get eye, 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 snout. It's obviously in the ape family, right? With this big mouth. Look at the shape of the lips and the mouth and everything like that. He's in the ape family. Now, of course, there's images within him. So his nose is another image. So eye, eye, nose, and mouth of another image. And then that one looks more, I'd say, on the rodent side. Then you got images coming out from both sides. Because here you got a canine, because that's a canine's nose and a canine's mouth. One eye, because you're only going to catch his right eye looking out in the, you know, in this other direction. Down in here, you, when you start looking at some of the other smaller stuff that appears right now, until I stretch it, you're going to see, you look for the eyes. Look for the eyes, the noses, and the mouths. Once you see the eyes, the nose, and the mouths, it's fairly easy to somewhat identify, right? Because you got eye, eye, nose. Look at the, look at this little thing coming down below its um, nose and going out. Look for those lines. Felines and rodents share that in common, I guess. Then here you got another one, eye, eye, nose, using that same mouth that I was showing you earlier with the broken tooth. I mean, right down to the details when you get broken teeth and shit like that. In an image, he's got a little bit of a hairline going on too. You can trace him out. You can trace his face out. Actually, I can trace it right here. Because I got his right cheek, I'm sorry, his left cheek right here. There's his eye. See, he's sharing an eye with this one, so be careful. So, here, I'll crop him for you. There he is. Okay, so there's that one. That's the one I was just trying to show you there. So, if you go like that, you crop him on both sides, because the other one's going to share an eye, too. You go like this. And then you get the exact image that I'm trying to point out to you. Then I can come over here, and I go like this, and I can show you this exact image that I'm trying to point out to you. Somewhat, because it's image within Im image. So you might not know I'm going for these two eyes, this nose, and this mouth. You might think I'm going down here for these two eyes, and that nose, and that mouth, because it's image within image within image. All directions. That's another funny thing about watching the system that if anybody else ever joins in, I think it's pretty fucking amazing. There is no prejudice in this system. There is no racism in this system. The system doesn't, uh, you know, so in other words, the, or the original build 6,000 years ago did not include any uh, uh, segregation or anything like that. Uh, it also... Um, The colors and skin didn't care about any of that stuff. It was uh, the, the the system for that was the last reset. And I, I'm again, this part is theoretical. It's theoretical. That yes, I agree. That part is theoretical, but the imagery is not. And being able to watch the imagery and watch the builders build and watch the build, those are not theories, man. Those are factual things that you can go see for yourself. If you do exactly what it is I'm showing you guys, you'll just be able to see it for yourself. It won't even be a big deal. Uh, it, for the first six months or so, it'll probably be a big deal because it is, it is a really a big deal. But I don't like to play it off that it is because then I'll just be accused of being insane. Because when you, if you really, you know, reacted to the way we should be reacting to what I'm showing you, it's fucking huge. I mean, it's jump up and down and fucking stomp around and say, what the fuck is wrong with us, you know? Um, but if you do that, it's just not going to do any good. So I just go along with it and I try to play off as best I can that it's not that big of a deal, you know? Well, it's just something that nobody noticed yet, you know? <laughs> fuck. Even when you show them, they deny it. You know, they tell you, no, no, it ain't that way. I was going to let this run through. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to let it run through for a few minutes because I'm talking too much and now I'm already at 34 fucking minutes. And his phone's going to die.
I'll have to jump on the other phone if I'm going to finish up this. I, I want to get rid of some of these copyright claim videos. Let's just do this. You know, even this one right here, since you're thinking about it, Roxy. This one right here, if somebody knew more about animals, right? Because I have even tried this with this one myself a couple times. That looks like a lamb's eye. And it looks like the top of the head at different angles has some land. This is the same eye I was just saying a few minutes ago has femininity in it. It's being used right now. You're probably seeing it being used with this nose, this mouth, and stuff like that. Um... But I'm seeing you with this eye with another eye over here and this face going on thinking in the lamb, possible lamb family. But I've looked into it before and it always goes canine or rodent. It always goes back and forth there. This one even going this way, I have to look at them better. I want to say looks like he's going to go feline. This way, yeah. Human and then feline. So, you know, it's not like I'm not looking, in other words. I, I am looking, um, but again, I'm only one person, so. That feminine eye over there. Yeah, it's too far out of my way. I'm, I won't get her now. <coughs> See, yeah, I have to wait till it comes back. But we'll look around in here anyway for the hell of it. So I just did it with this one. I'm doing the same thing that I'm talking about with the other eye, so I'll just show it to you while I'm doing it. All right, so I'm gonna start over here. We can pick out any one of these. Pick, pick this eye here because it will we'll follow it around. So pick this eye here. It does look kind of feminine, actually, in one direction. Watch what I'm going to try to do here, though, for a second. Okay, so this eye here, put it with this eye here. Even though they don't look the same, we're going to use this nose and this mouth with that eye. I can get them to look. I can get them to show you that it's the right eye for that image that I'm looking at right now. See, eye, eye, nose, and mouth. Even though the color is not an exact match, you can see it's obvious. It goes with that head and that head dressing. I don't want to go up too high because then you catch the next face. This is actually the mouth of this image here. You can see that one, right? So if I go to this one here, though, and I stay concentrated on him for a minute, eye, eye, nose, and mouth, right? Then as I start coming around, what I'm looking for is I'm watching this eye. This eye is still looking at me with that other eye. The, the nose is turning and everything like that. I, but now I see this one coming into play now, this other image. But before I even get to that one, we're going to see this one, this eye work with this eye, with the forehead there, hairline here, right? Nose here, mouth under here. I'll get them for you. Okay, that's going to end up going for that one. But now before we even get there, we're already going to start losing the other first guy I had, right? Because there we go, eye, eye, nose, mouth. 
Watch what's going to happen. I don't want to go too fast. Okay, see, see how we're turning it? We're going to come around. And the eye gets used. Now, eye, eye, nose, and mouth of this other one right here. It's just one. Let's see if I can get my cropping tool in there. It does look very feminine, actually, that full face, the large face. But um, back to what I'm trying to show you here. See the, see the face here, though? Eye, eye, nose, and mouth out of that one eye. Is what I'm trying to get you? There we go. I'm sorry. There you go. So there you go, human face. All right, now I open it back up. Another human face, but I'm just showing you that how, you know, there, there's the two eyes. I was down too low. So there he is. So that face there, that's the one I was trying to get you. Because that was built with that eye, and that eye works with that other eye over there. You know, it's image within image within image from the veil to the ground. I don't know. My eyes just got used to separating them all. videos getting ready to end now anyways and stuff but I'm trying to show you too as I'm showing you these videos if you're actually watching them stopping them looking at with your phone is ideal because you use your phone as a viewing device but in the in those shadows and in the lights you can see all the imagery what's going to become so don't think of it as um, too cartoony looking or too fake looking still get the imagery down pat the shape of it okay is my recommendation to anybody who's really interested in any of this because the rest will come later. Uh, in other words, watch. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. You'd be afraid to call that. The headline goes down here. It goes down around like this on that one particular image that I'm trying to show you. But within it are thousands of other images. I can go through them all. I don't want to confuse you. Because you can take this eye and put it over there. So this eye and that eye with this nose. And got this snout here with that... I don't want to confuse you, but just pick out some of them, and then once you get to them, those ones, if you can identify something, like if you know where the seashell is on the moon, or if you know where any of these hot spots are, and you know where you are, try to remember them, because although they may look a little cartoony in one position, you're going to get them around where they're going to be so crisp and clear, they're going to be hard to be defined from a, you know, a computer game, you know, how the computer games have gotten so good. Or a television show, you know, or 
something more real. Square pixels are doing this all, by the way, in, in your camera, but the system uses triangular pixels. So you can still identify the triangular pixels in the system and then have appreciation for the square pixels when you get it back to the computer you can definitely find the square pixels because I can do that too. But it confuses people too much, so I usually stay away from it. Filled with imagery in here. So when you see the ghost imagery, let's call it that, the ghost images, where they're kind of ghostly, they don't really look that clear. You can kind of make out the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. But it's, okay, keep an eye on those because you're going to come around to another angle, another area. I have explanation for different angles too. The, the Freemason Illuminati numbers and all that shit, they do seem to come into play. The 33, the 16s, the, there's different angles that when you come in at these certain angles, creates the best imagery. And on the moon map model, if you're standing on what is truly the southern line, which is a big triangle, I guess we call it a circle, a big triangle, um, all the way around the ends, more like an AE map model than than the ball earth model for sure, but it's, I don't like to use the word flat, it's not flat, uh, but anyways, all around the south, uh, so if you're standing in the south, you would see the imagery in the moon more clear than anywhere else, anywhere.